Hello everyone and welcome to the first series of Thendis' 100 subscribers special. Today we got a nice 2v2 best of 3. Let me turn on the allied colors. Let us introduce the players. Actually, let me do the sound first. Yep, for those of you that haven't seen the 100 subscribers, it is true. I am now at 100 subs. So, along with this awesome 2v2 best of 3, I will be doing a best of 5 between Lin and Infi. Be very nice. And for my FFA special, I will be casting a pretty awesome FFA game with the possible chance of Mage being my co-caster. But that's for the future. This is now. Let's introduce our players. Spawning as the orange human. It is Thu. And his partner, also spawning as the orange human, it is Yumiko. And their opponents, spawning as the teal on dead, it is Juan. And his partner, also spawning as the teal on dead, the one, the only, it's Entei. Double Undead versus Double Human on Turtle Rock. And yes, I have not casted that many 2v2s. So you might be thinking, well, why do a special for twos? One, because this best of three is awesome. And two, it's going to be fun. I mean, what can possibly more be more fun than double versus double? All right, Thu gonna open up with the standard Archmage first, whereas Yumiko is opening up with a Mountain King first. Already, both the players doing different openers, whereas Juan looks like he is doing the normal Fiend build, where you get the delayed hero, out, but you get more fiends along with it, and we do see a Death Knight first out of him. And it looks like Entei is also doing the same build, Death Knight for him. And already, Thu and Yumiko using some teamwork here, both pulling Militia here to clear an expansion. And I like this teamwork, I really do. For all you double human AT ears out there, this might be a strategy for you. That might be a little too loud, but the question is... Uh, maybe it's not too loud. I'll keep it. But the question is, who's going to take the expansion and will it be scouted? Looks like Thu's keeping some militia there, which makes me think that he'll be the, the one to take that expansion. And I really like how that was crept. That was crept out pretty fast. And got a quick level 2 for the AM, which means Brilliance Aura for both of the human heroes. Whereas Entei and Wan, their Death Knights are not even out yet. Ooh, Yumiko with a bit of a trash talk, I suppose. But they're using the Fiends, pull back the green spots, gonna pick up a Rod of Necromancy, get some Skeletal Minions, and creep out their greens. And already both Fu and Yumiko doing some teamwork here, both going towards Entei here. And does Entei have what it takes to be able to deny, the, to be able to hold this back? It looks like Yumiko's gonna steal some turtles. Entei was able to kill the big turtle, got a mantle of intelligence for it. Meanwhile, Juan will be able to finish out his camp. Who's going to get himself gauntlets of ogre strength? Not a bad item for the Death Knight. And both Yumiko and Thu have Entei on lockdown. Not really much Entei can do about it. Alright, meanwhile, still no tech out of Yumiko. He's putting out an early blacksmith, so it looks like he will be going rifleman. Thu, obviously no tech as he has been fast expanding. Which is going to be scouted by a skeletal minion to Juan. So nice scouting here. But we have a little, a little engagement. Stormbolt on Entei's Death Knight. And is this surrounded? It is surrounded. But a nice coil by Juan. Going to heal up the Death Knight. Juan, a man is still being used by the Archmage. Mountain King getting focused down by Entei's Death Knight. Getting coiled yet again. But is it enough? He's taking a lot of damage. But so is Yumiko. Both players lose their heroes. Both Yumiko and Entei losing their heroes. But... Juan and Entei with some fiends. Very nice to deal with all these footmen. Juan's Death Knight getting level 2. Getting that unholy aura. And all these fiends. Yumiko. I mean Thu. Yeah, this is going to be confusing. <laughs> I don't think Thu has defend yet. Yumiko obviously doesn't. As he's committing into a rifleman force. In a fact, is under he's siege. building two barracks here. But already both Entei and Juan with a lot of fiends here. Trying to kill... Thu's expo, but both of the human players are here to defend. A little bit of fiend micro here as well. Entei's death knight is right out of the altar. Level 1 heroes don't take too long to revive. Militia being pulled by both players. 
<laughs> That's a lot of human here. Entei losing a fiend. All right, Wong gonna have to back off. Same with Entei. Level three AM for Thu already. That's pretty good for him this early on. We're only four minutes into the game. I already have a level three hero. And only one spot really has been crept this whole game, unless you want to count those two green spots. So right now, both the undead players gotta be thinking, how can we punish that expansion? How can we make sure the human production doesn't even skyrocket? In fact, I don't even think the undead players know that this is happening. They have not scouted jack diddly diddly out of both the human players. players Alright, Wong gonna chase away Yumiko, whereas Entei's gonna keep the, the pressure on Thu. My mouse seems to be a bit off. Alright, both players going at it. Yumiko pulling in the militia. He's got a couple riflemen now. But so many fiends by the undead player. Long range storm bolt hitting one of Wan's fiends. Alright, Fulman goes down. Water medical goes down, but so does the fiend. Alright, both the undead players backing off. Do not want to get sandwiched. One of Wan's fiends almost gotten surrounded, but the storm bolt might seal its fate. Both death knights have no mana for coils. So they definitely got to be careful. Now Wan's Death Knight getting surrounded by Yumiko's Militia. Level 2 on Entei's Death Knight. Long Range Coil going to get it, but Wan quickly TPs out. He does not want to deal with any of that. All right, but Entei's staying in a fight. And I don't think he should be staying in this fight. So he only has three fiends, four fiends. All right, how are the techs looking for the undead players? Both of them are either near or at tier 2. We do see a Lich as the second hero choice for Wan, and I'm pretty sure Entei will a be getting a Lich as well. So both of the undead players are going to have some nuke if they got the mana for it. Meanwhile, Thu just now hitting tier 2. Yumiko's still at tier 1. He's committed a lot into this two barrack rifle force. And he's just creeping away. Both teams, one man has played better than the other so far here, but definitely both teams are using teamwork. Thu's Archmage running about, seeing that Juan is creeping out this creep camp. He's hanging about, maybe wants to try to get the last shot on the Gargantuan Sea Turtle. Juan does have a coil, but he used to do early. Did Thu get the item? No, he did not. Ooh. Juan getting very lucky, getting the greater mana potion, but here comes Yumiko. Stormbolt onto the Fiend. He does get coiled, but the DPS is quite a bit. Game focus down. Meanwhile, Entei over here clearing out the marketplace. If he can kill the Ogre Magi, he will get that permanent sentry ward. Thus giving him the map vision he needs. It's going down. Both Yumiko and Thu have backed off. Yumiko using a staff and TP on his Mountain King. Gonna go to Thu's expo. Alright. And we do see double arcane sanctums on the way for Thu's. He has it tier two. And whereas Yumiko's still at tier one. So he's really committing to this tier one rifle centered army. He's even got the plus one damage upgrade. So I wonder if Thu's going to get the casters and Yumiko's going to get the rifle and do like a huge rifle caster push. Ooh. Juan playing it a bit greedy, creeping out the red spot. See if he'll be able to get the super duper item from the Ogre Lord. Meanwhile, at the same time, Entei doing a bit of a risky creep jack. Nova from his Lich did kill a footman, giving the Death Knight level 3. Stormbolt from Yumiko's Mount King onto Entei's Death Knight. Alright, another Stormbolt from the Mount King. Oh my gosh, both Yumiko and Thu have a Mount King. Double Mount King. That is a lot of Stormbolts, even with the Brilliance are. All right, meanwhile, at the same time, Juan did kill the Ogre Lord. The super duper item was Ancient Django Drums of Endurance, giving Juan's army that endurance, Hara. But with the double Mountain King, so many Storm Bowls, they just sniped a good chunk of fiends here. Fiends are pretty expensive. All right, meanwhile, we do a see a tech to tier three out of Juan. Entei's staying at tier two. He's getting the obscene statues, getting the fiends. It looks like Thu and Yumiko are going to creep out the other red spot. Let's see what this final super duper item will be from this Ogre Lord. And it will be Kagger's Pipe of Insight. Not the greatest item for this double human army as it does not stack with the Archmage. Although Yumiko might want to keep it to give him Brilliant Tower when Thu's not around. And the Lich getting Toma GG from Wan. Thus allowing him to get to- Oh my gosh, never mind, Entei's Death Knight taking a lot of damage, quickly TP's out. And we do see a risky expansion coming up Entei here. He'll need to put some cigarettes down to defend it. 
All right, Juan pushing in at Fu's expansion. Getting some damage done, killing a couple um, peasants. All right, Juan doesn't want to overcommit. Fu has a couple spell breakers. Mount King of Yumiko has been healing up on the Clarity Pot, plus the Bruins are from the pipe. Oh, and the Rifleman catch him in a bad spot. Long range Stormbow Hinnafine does get coiled, though. Nova onto the Rifleman. All right, we do have Entei coming in from behind, but so does Thu. We're going to have another four-way battle. Thunderclap from the Mount King. Juan able to burrow a Fiend to protect him, and Entei might not be able to keep this expansion. Long range Coil hitting a Fiend. More and more burrows coming in. Alright, it's a lot of stuff happening. Yumiko has quite a bit of fiends. Nova gonna take it down. Stormbolt onto one of Entei's fiends. A lot of stuff going on here. Thankfully, my FFA experience allows me to deal with these. A lot of stuff going on. Another Stormbolt hitting one of Wands fiends. Lots of Stormbolts with Double Mountain King, but a lot of Undead Nuke too as well. A lot of Coils, a lot of Novas. And the Undead players are actually doing not that bad of a job pushing them back because both the humans backing off. Long Range Coil gonna get the Rifleman. Uh. Let me get a breather in. Uh, Wong gonna have to micro back that fiend. He does. What I was gonna say is, thank the Lord for me casting a couple FFAs. I'm kind of used to this high action moments. We do see a level two on the Entei's witch, witch, lich. Forces are under attack. And Wong's a tier three. Does he have orb of corruption? No, he does not. I believe that's what he's gonna go get. And this expansion by Entei really delays his tech. So if he doesn't tech in time, he can go over the wands shop and buy a orb of corruption. He'll just have to wait for it to be restocked. Yeah. All right, where are the supplies looking like? Yumiko at 31 supply, Fu at 63, Entei at 40, and Wan at 49. Forces are under attack. We do see a level three mountain king for Fu. Oh boy, what's Wan? In the level 3 Mountain King for Yumiko, so that means double level 2 Stormbolt. I'm an undead player, and that just gives me chills, man. That's just, uh. That's just terrible. What are the upgrades looking like? Juan at 1 0, Entei at 0 0, Yumiko at 1 0, Thu at 0 0. Wow. The player's forces are under attack. I really like this series so far, and we're not even done with game 1. Uh, Fu killing his own footman, gotta free up that supply. Is he trying to standard? No, he's not. Or maybe that was Yumiko. Ooh! I didn't even see the tech out of Yumiko, my bad, but we do see gyros being built. Two workshop gyros, so I guess they're preparing for when both the undead players get destroyers. And I like what Entei's doing here. He's doing what the humans like to do, except this time he's undead, slowly pushing forward with the ziggurats. But we do have an engagement. Juan throwing some A-bombs. Stormbolt on Entei's. Um, Death Knight, and we do have Fu building some forward towers here. One's gonna get cancelled. Both, all of them gonna get cancelled. As we do have some destroyers here for one. I don't... Yumiko's got about six gyros. He's gonna need more than that. I'm not sure if either of the undead players got web. Both of them have fiends, so I would hope they got undead. Uh, web. Duh. Alright, we do see Wan getting some web. And this must be a bot or something. It must be. I don't see why else the players would be typing this. Ooh, and we do see a Paladin second out of Yumiko, whereas Thu is still a tier two, so obviously you can't get a Paladin third, but could you imagine that? Double attack. Stormbolt, double Holy Light. We'd be seeing nukes by both teams, and it'd be pretty epic. But we do see Yumiko buying some ivory towers, putting some forward towers. Looks like they're gonna have like a stale off here, but Thu using invisibility on both of the Mountain Kings so they can go out and scout. Entei getting some forward Neruvian Towers. He can get Spirit Towers, although Spirit Towers are pretty expensive. And we do see an expansion by Juan, nice and hidden. Not a sure if either of the undead attack. players know about it. Uh, human players, and no they do not. Alright, Gyro going down, giving Juan level 5 on his Death Knight. It does mean level 3 Coil. Coil Nova gonna snipe away a priest. Alright, two webs onto the Gyros of Yumiko. And it looks like we might have like a stalemate here. It's like one of those Mexican standoffs in the old Wild West movies. Ooh, we even see a bit of Blizzard. I didn't even see food by the Toma retraining. But we do see Blizzard, very nice. The towers are up. We see more and more being built. Fu gonna build a second expansion here. 
And we're gonna go into a long game, I would believe. Uh, we do see a Dark Ranger third out of one, where I'm sure Entei just started his tech up to tier three. Another priest being sniped by that undead nuke. The Lich is able to get more and more Novas with the obscene statues and Dark Ritual. Another blizzard going off from Thu's Archmage. And neither player wants to break this mark. The tavern's basically the border here. This this map's starting to look like some sort of Dota thing. We got the Alliance uh, versus the bad people, I guess, in Dota. I've never played Dota, but I've seen the map. Like, half of it's with Blight. The other half's normal. Something like that. And we do have Thu with this invisible Archmage scout about. Neither of the undead players have a shade, although we do see a second slaughterhouse being built by Wan. And I kind of like this. Even building a shop. Both players have a shop, but double Stormbolt sniping off a of Fiend. Wan overextending just a little bit. What are the supplies looking like? We got 63 for Wan, 50 for Entei, 50 for Yumiko, and 79 for Thu. All right, Coil Nova. Ooh, missed the Nova. There it is. Snipes a Sork. And I guess it is a bot, because I guess I can't check the chat, but a lot of players are giving out gold to their allies. Juan, expansion up, building the Acolytes, getting a Ziggurat to secure it. And I still don't think that Yumiko and Thu has scouted it. So... If you let it undead get away with an expansion, that's pretty nice. Alright, Coil hitting the priest. Not enough to kill him. Missed that lich. We even got some meat wagons being added in by Juan. Gonna try this slow... Slow siege. And there was a reveal. What did it reveal? Job's done. No, but we do have a scout from Yumiko. Seeing this work. undead expansion. Meanwhile, Yumiko seat. building more defensive towers, gonna try to secure this gold mine, which basically just leaves one mine left unexpanded, and I'm pretty sure one of the undead players are, are gonna get attack. it. Juan sending in his destroyers to get shoe away with that footman, starting up some defensive towers, and we still have this stalemate. Only one meat wagon. Gotta make sure the human player doesn't try to snipe it real quick, though. So gotta puppy guard that guy. Meat wagons are pretty expensive to be investing in. We even got the disease cloud, so... Is under siege. And a bunch of ghouls here. Juan might try to make a ghoul transition. I don't know. A nice little blizzard by Thu. Forcing a bit of a little micro by Juan and his meat wagons. Oh, we even see mortars out of Yumiko. Both players getting those long siege. Oh, but the Nova's and the Paladin goes down. Yumiko's Paladin getting sniped. He overextended just a little bit. Although he is only level one. So it's not the worst siege. loss in the world. Oh, meanwhile, at the same time, Entei pushing into Yumiko's expansion. Very nice, but both the humans quickly moving in as soon as Entei moves away. There's no Necropolis to move around to, so no way he can TP. Might want to TP in his base and run over or something. As soon as they saw Entei was gone, they pushed. They know Juan's the only one here. Gyro's going in, trying to focus down the destroyers. There's only so many fiends for webbing. Blizzard going down from the Archmage. Entei coming in to defend Juan. Gyro's going down, and Yumiko TPing out. He overextended a little bit with his Mountain King. And a nice hold by Juan, able to hold off just a little bit for his ally to come. But now his uh, Death Knight getting focused down with the Stormbolt. Blizzard going down, but it is silenced by the Dark Ranger. Keep in mind that both the Death Knights can coil each other. It's a very nice thing to have in a fight. Oh, uh, but now we have the Mortars behind the trees trying to siege away. We do see a Crypt Lord third out of Entei. Not often I get to see a Crypt Lord. I guess it might be a 2v2 thing. I don't know. But man, this is intense. Juan pulling some Acolytes. Another Blizzard from Thu's Archmage. And the Paladin of Yumiko being resurrected at the altar is coming out. Entei going straight back in. Does not want Yumiko to get this expansion. But as soon as he goes away, both the human players go right back in for Juan. Stormbolts and Thunderclaps coming from both the Mountain Kings here. Juan trying to back off. The Towers of Entei are far back as they did lose all those forward cigarettes. Entei is back into the fight now. Fiend's going down. Quite a bit of A-bombs by both of these players. They're nice and tanky. Holy Light going down onto Yumiko's uh, Mountain King. Archmage of Thub throwing down another blizzard. Nice little Nova hitting a bunch of casters. Invisibility on the Thu's Archmage. Alright, uh, Impale from the Crypt Lord and a Nova from the Lich. 
A lot of nukes going down here. Level 2 on 1, Stark Ranger, and another Blizzard hitting a lot of these slowed A-bombs. Silence going down from the Dark Ranger. Did not hit the Archmage, though. Both the Undead players trying their best. Neither player wants to overextend us enough. Coil Nova sniping some sorceresses, trying to keep their count as low as possible. Another Blizzard from the Archmage. Should be able to get two A-bombs for it. That's a nice little pick off. Holy Light onto a Spellbreaker. Alright, Stormbolt onto Entei's Death Knight. A lot of stuff happening. A bombs getting Blizzard down the high hell. Nova onto the Paladin. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Mortars attacking in, and Ball of Entei's A bombs are getting pretty low here. Spellbreaker's getting low as well. Another Blizzard going down. The disease cloud spread all over the humans, but double Stormbolt onto the Mount King of Entei who quickly gets. Coiled, but Entei with the clutch TP gonna get an A-bomb for it and the human players are pushing in and they're pushing in hard Entei might want to think about unsummoning this expo here all right more destroyers being popped out holy light onto the mound king mortars slowly sieging away they don't want to push into the towers I suppose meanwhile during all this Yumiko building more and more towers to try to secure yet another expansion Quite a bit of army here. So far, Thu and Yumiko have come back out. Lots of mortars by Yumiko. That is a lot of mortars. They're just slicing through those fiends. So if the undead player can try, they're going to have to try to focus it down. But I'm sure Yumiko, his micro is good enough to be able to keep them back. Make sure they don't overextend with the mortars. The spellbreakers are supposed to be the boys up front. The boys taking the blunt of the damage. They are pretty tanky. Stormbolt onto an A-bomb of Wam. Level 1. Level 2 on the Paladin of Yumiko. Lots of stuff going on. And the Mortars clearing away trees, allowing for the human players to get a better fighting position. Blizzard hitting a bunch of the undead fiends. Alright, Coil Nova by both players quickly nuking down through his Archmage, forcing him to TP out. And this gives the undead players the breathing room they need. What are the supplies looking like? It's 78 supply for Ante, 79 for Wan, 60 for Yumiko, and 90 supply for Thu. Um, I'm sure most of that's in mortars. Meanwhile, Yumiko starting his town halls. Got plenty of defensive towers to keep that expansion secure. All right, Wan gonna put down another expansion of himself. I was wondering when this expansion would be took. And Entei going in, trying to siege away these towers, but once again, both the human players moving in, and every time it does that, they just go right in. Entei might want to think about building a necropause so he can TP into the expansion. But so far he can't do it. Wan gonna try to fight by the towers with a lot of mortars here, though. They can siege away at the towers like they're doing. Where are the mortar upgrades? It's 2-0. Actually, those are Yumiko's mortars, so it wouldn't be in Thu's supply count. Well, all right, Nova onto a sorceress. Long range coil onto the priest, and the fiend shot's gonna take him down. And Wan's doing a nice job so far in this situation, as it is a 2v1. Wan even canceling his expo, as it was flared and scouted. Entei back into the fight here. Gyro's getting webbed down as they tried to focus down the destroyers. All right, a lot of gyros going out. So far, so good for the undead players. If this was me and one of my undead friends, we would have lost this a long time ago. Oh, All right, Coil Nova onto the mortars, just trying to slowly the siege them away. It looks like Thu's giving a little more owl money to Yumiko. It's another Nova onto the mortars. One will get holy lighted, though. Oh, man. Level 2 on the Crypt Lord of Entei, throwing in his destroyers, trying to snipe a guard tower, but Yumiko with his gyros, able to keep him close. Oh, but now both players sending in their deaths, he's snapping away at one, and now it looks like the human players are at the defensive end. The tides have turned, as many would say. Alright, Wan even sending in his meat wagons, trying to slowly siege him down. Yumiko sending in a rifle, slowly he'll be able to shoot him away. Even pulling in Militia, Thu is... Maybe he's going to try to snipe. Oh, but Entei getting caught in a bad spot. 
And once again, as soon as they see Entei leave, both the human players move in. That is very nice strategic. Uh, very nice strategy. That's the proper term. Oh, but Juan getting caught in a bad spot. Entei focusing down the militia from behind. Level 5 on Juan Slitch. Alright, that means level 3 Nova as it just hit some priests. Oh, Stormbolt onto the Lich as he's getting focused down. Wands, Death Knight has enough for a coal. We'll use it, but the Lich is in vulnerability post. I believe Yumiko just lost his Mountain King. One of them did. I can't tell. There's just so much going on. So hard to tell when there's gyros above everything. All right, now the Blizzard onto the Acolytes of Ente. <laughs> Thu giving a lot of resources to Yumiko. Spellbreakers right up front. Web going on to some destroyers not destroyers gyros what am i talking about i'm just losing my mind here silence going down in the dark ranger in the archmage of thu very close to dying mountain king yumiko being resurrected at the altar uh neutral hero tavern he does have a greater healing potion stormbolt onto Entei's death knight who used the mana pot got a coil of fiend of his he's right in the front he's got to be careful so many gyros dying level five on the mountain king for thu all right, Gyros and Destroyers having their fight. I believe Destroyers are going to lose that fight. Thunderclap from the Mountain King. We do see a level 6 Death Knight out of Wan. And the Undead players are actually not doing that bad, although all the Destroyers have gone down. They are pushing into the Human Towers. Don't want to overextend. They're backing up a little bit. Coiled is going to save an A-bomb here. All right, Blizzard from Thu's Archmage hitting a lot of Entei stuff. Entei a little bit delayed on Micring his units back. All right, more destroyers draining away the slows with the devour magic. And this has just been a back and forth, back and forth game here. I am loving it. Oh, uh, what is there to do? The meat wagons of wandering all that did kill the Yumiko's expansion. And Thu starting to lose an expansion. The gold mines running out. For all the players, this is the last mining. Oh, oh, duh. The undead down the two base. The humans are down the two base. Although one of the bases is almost dried out. Uh, I'm gonna pause the replay, make sure I don't miss anything. It is 72 supply for Juan, 74 for Ente, 68 for Thu, 48 for Yumiko. Where are the upgrades? We we just gotta know this information. It's two two upgrades on Thu's spellbreakers. Uh, okay. Where's all of Yumiko's units? Oh, Yumiko moving into Wan's expansion. Yumiko at 2 0 upgrades for his mortars. And I don't see any gyros. So this has been a very nice game. He's building more and more a mortars. Forces are under attack. And Yumiko gonna try to force a TP. Stormbolt onto an Aqua. He's going straight for the haunted gold mine. Alright, one of the undead players is TPing in to defend. Yumiko quickly TPing out. It was Juan the TP and Coil Nova. Ooh, almost lost two mortars. Oh, but at the same time, that did leave Entei exposed here. Juan's gonna have to quickly get back to defend. He's probably gonna buy a TP at the shop, maybe? No. A player's He's gonna run back though. Oh, but both the human players going in. Thu's gotta be careful with this Archmage though, so it could quickly get Coil Nova. I believe Entei, okay, never mind. I thought Entei was at 5-5. Five five. He's at 4-3. And two on his crypt board. One is back into the fight. Invisibility going down on all of the human heroes, pretty much. But the AM. Alright, Charo's going down. And things are looking really good for the undead players. But this game could turn at any moment. Yumiko even pulling some militia just to be safe. Oh, just to be safe. Oh, and Entei trying to take a sneaky expansion up top. I don't believe the tower's in range to see that. No, it is not. Flare out of the mortar, trying to see what's what. Even the meat wagon's clearing some trees here. Trying to get a good spot, but the lich getting focused down. Double coil onto it. You do not want to lose the level 5 lich. Nice try by the human players nuking down. All right, up. Uh, all right, Coil Nova hitting the Mountain King of Thu. He gets Holy Lighted, barely saving his life. All right, Undead players might be moving in a little too much. One of the Death Knights went down. It was Entei's Death Knight. Entei overextending just a little. Blizzard going down. 
All right, bunch of peasants getting caught out. Feeding experience. Entei reviving his death knight at the New Jersey Tavern, but he gets quickly storm bolted. All right, he's going to drink on a healing potion. He did hit level 5. Meanwhile, and the Paladin of Yumiko goes down. All right, boys are going down from the Archmage again. There's just so much happening. I can't cast it all. But a nice positioning by the Spellbreakers of Thu. But two Mountain King level 5 goes down. It was Thu's Mountain King. All right, Coil onto an Abomination. Wasn't enough to keep him alive. That's a lot of gyros. Sniping away at the Destroyers. I'm just going down. The human players fighting by their towers wisely. Adding more DPS to their army. Fiend's going down. We do have two mate wagons going to try to slowly siege him away. Stormbolt going to kill down a mountain. Uh, Abomination. The Crypt Lord of Entei getting folks down. And GG's being called. And Entei and Juan with an epic victory. Taking game number one in this best of three. Holy crap. Oh, if game number if game number two and three are just as epic as that, I will lose my voice before today is over. If you guys like this game, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me at Twitch at Thunder32, and I'll be seeing you guys later.